Good morning. To go cup today. I have to take my mom to the dentist and it's not even 7 in the morning yet. So I have to leave in a few minutes to get her there on time. I really don't like early morning appointments. Even if I get up early, which I often do, I like to just relax in the morning. Take it easy, have my cup of coffee, chill a little bit. I don't like getting busy as soon as my feet hit the floor, but sometimes we have to do what we have to do. So today I have to pick up a couple of um, markdown items at the Flash Food. Uh, they had a couple really good deals and the one at my mom's house, it's right, right there. I usually check that one before I go to my mom's and uh, pick up a few things there. So doing markdown shopping, and I know these things are almost expired, but I stick everything in, in the freezer, but I'm trying not to overcrowd my freezer or stock it back up. But sometimes they have such good deals that I can't pass them up. So I just pick up a few. So we had a torrential rain last night, and today it's only going to be 78, which is very pleasant, uh, right in my Goldilocks zone. But I won't be doing any gardening because everything's just too wet. So I got this mug at the Dollar Tree last fall, and uh, it's got pumpkins on it, but I thought this was a nice summer color. It doesn't really remind me of fall, except for the pumpkins. So anyway, I don't know what I'm cooking today. I don't know what I'm doing today. But I'll tell you, it was so pleasant to get up to a nice straightened up kitchen this morning. So I guess my next thing is to finish up my shelving projects. I have a couple things I have to do, like put stoppers at the back of the cubbies and finish up the other cubby. I have to stain that. And, um, and then I'm going to get started on my dining room. So, but not today. Today I'll probably just hang out with my mom for a while and come home and then I'll be too tired to do anything. All right, I'm going to enjoy my coffee on the way to my mom's, and I'll be back later, and we'll see what the day brings. All right, see you later. Day 216 of cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. All right. Hey, I'm at the freezer at my mom's house, and this is full of my food, too. She offered me the freezer, but I don't want it. So this is my stash at my mom's house. So <laughs> as you can see, I have plenty more food to eat. So I think I'll pick up a couple things here. I thought I had, here they are. I'm gonna get a couple of these fishless fillets. Maybe have some fish tacos. So I'll take two of those. And let's see what else we have. Um, still lots and lots of food. Let's see, what is this? Hmm. Okay, we'll take that too. All right, well, that's all I'm taking for today because I don't want to load up my freezer with a lot of stuff that uh, I'm trying to cook down. So there it is freezer at my mom's house. At least it's neat. All right.
going to be heading home soon. And we'll revisit this at some other time. So I have breakfast at my mom's this morning after her dental appointment. And now it's time to make some dinner. So let's see what's for dinner, day 216. I have this sour cream that I need to use up. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, I cut up some mushrooms. I still have these mushrooms. I think I might dehydrate these, at least two of them, and one of them I might make into a, some kind of a burger thing. Um, today when I went to pick up my flash food order, I got this uh, vegan mayonnaise um, marked down. That was three dollars and something, and it's usually like, I don't know, five or six, something ridiculous. So I got that, and then I got this Everything Chopped Kit, and that was a dollar something, like a dollar ninety-nine maybe. It's usually uh, closer to three dollars, so I picked that up. I had ordered a couple of vegan meats, too, that I was going to freeze, but um, I guess they were too close to the expiration date, so they put them back. Well, they didn't put them back. They probably threw them out. So, But they weren't expired. They were Best Buy. So anyway, I did not get those, but that's okay. I have plenty. All right. Uh, most of you said you like peeking in my fridge. So we will continue to peek in my fridge. But in the meantime, I'm going to meet you at the stove. Well, here I am again at the stove. So I have a little bit of butter here. You can use vegan butter. You can use whatever butter you like. So I'm going to cook up some of these onions. This is just a regular onion. Last time I bought onions, I just bought plain onions instead of sweet onions. But I'm going to buy sweet onions from now on. I just like them better. Although regular onions are supposedly the best for cooking. But, you know, you got to eat what you like. I mean, I like all onions, but sweet onions are my favorite. So I cooked up some uh, egg pasta. So this isn't a totally vegan dish. It's a vegetarian dish. But, you know, just cook any old pasta you like. So I'm going to cook this down a little bit. And then here I have some uh, some of the mushrooms that I got from my uh, Markdown Veggie Box the other day. I'm also going to add a cube of this Bo Yu, or whatever, gravy cubes, mushroom gravy. And I'm going to use that to make a sauce. I want to make like a mushroom type stroganoff. So I'm going to let these onions cook a little bit and I'll be back. All right, now to these onions, I'm going to add these mushrooms. And that's not quite a container. Um, I don't want to make so much that I have to eat this for, you know, days and days. So I made like three quarters of the container. The rest I'll probably dehydrate or maybe I'll make an omelet for breakfast. I don't know yet. But I'm always trying to think ahead of what I want to do with my food. Am I obsessive about food? No. 
but I do like to save money and I do like to use up what I have. So, all right, I'm going to let these cook a few minutes and then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. But I'm going to let these cook until the mushrooms are soft. All right, I'm going to add some garlic to this, and my never-ending Costco garlic thing. Put in as much or as little garlic as you like. And then I'm going to cook that for just a minute or so until it becomes fragrant. I love mushrooms. They're really good. They're good for you, too. And they're a really, really good meat substitute. All right, now I'm going to take, it says one cube to half a cup of water. But I'm going to use milk and white wine. So I'm just going to crumble this up in here a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of white wine in here first. Sorry for the noise. And I'm going to let that cook off the alcohol. You don't have to put the white wine in if, if you know if you don't want to. Now this is going to thicken up. because this will make a thick gravy. All right, now I'm going to add, now this is coconut milk, use whatever milk you want, um, nut milk, dairy milk, whatever. So I'm going to put the rest of the half of a cup in there. I may need to add some more. But this is a quick dinner or lunch, whatever, whenever you eat your big meal of the day. And I think it's going to need a little bit more, but I want to add some sour cream too, so I don't want it too thin. So today was a really, really pleasant day. It was only about 78 degrees. Not hot at all. It was very nice. I wasn't going to cook anything, but this sounded really delicious to me. And this should be enough, probably, for a couple of meals, I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to give this a little taste, make sure it's not too salty. Nope, it's good. I'm going to add some pepper. And let this cook for a minute to thicken up. So I didn't do any decluttering today. I'm going to pick up with day three tomorrow. Because I wasn't home and there's no big huge rush. So I will pick up with the 15 minute declutter tomorrow. Now you want to add your sour cream once this is done cooking, you just want to heat it up 
and I have a little bit left. I'll probably only use half of this. But this sour cream really went a long way. I bought that probably about a month ago. So, and if you're vegan, you can always buy the vegan sour cream. Whatever floats your boat, because we don't judge on this channel. We all like what we like. Okay, I'm going to add the sour cream to this now. And I might add the whole thing, I don't know. I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm not sure if this is going to need a little salt or not. But that's why we have taste buds. Now, if this is too thick, you can always add a little milk. All right. You can add green peppers in here if you want. That would be tasty. Or red peppers, or any kind of pepper. But I just wanted mushrooms and onions. All right, let me give this a taste. Now this, these gravy cubes do not make a lot of gravy. Very good. Could use a little salt. And a little more pepper. And that's it. So I think you can buy mushroom, just regular mushroom cubes too. It doesn't have to be a gravy, but then you'd have to thicken it a little bit. But anyway, here it is, my version of mushroom stroganoff. I'm going to add some pasta to this now. So I already cooked the pasta ahead of time, and this is just, like I said, egg noodles. And I'm probably only going to use part of it, and the rest of it I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow. One of my favorite breakfasts, egg noodles and eggs. All right. So I'm just going to mix this all up. And I think that looks pretty tasty. And this is probably too much for just one meal. I always cook too much. I just can't help myself. I had a family that I had to cook for. And now I just have me to cook for. Okay. I'm going to plate this up and then we'll give it a taste. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my dinner, my mushroom stroganoff. And I think that'll be tasty. Let's give it a taste. And I do have enough for one more meal. I'm not sure, you know, lunch or dinner. But let's give it a taste. Mm. Very yummy. 
so cook with what you have, what you can get on sale, what you can get on markdown. Mm. Very good. I'm going to eat my dinner and then I'll be back. Hello there. I just wanted to have a little brief chat today. Um, so today, after I took my mom to her dental appointment, I did absolutely nothing. I had a, a staycation day. Yes, even though I'm retired, I had a staycation day. Um, so I took my daughter some groceries. She got some of the flash food deals. Um, I guess they have that in Britain, too. It's called something else. But I was watching Frugal Joe, and they have a markdown bags at some of their stores. I guess little Lizzie has a lot to say too this evening. <laughs> People start coming home and the mailboxes are right outside my house. So then every time a car door slams or a horn beeps or you know or a leaf blows by she's got to let everybody know. So anyway on the way back from my daughter's house we have that little library that people donate books to, or you can take books, you know, whatever. So I, I stopped there real quick, and I was looking through, and they had this book, The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies 2. So I grabbed that up, and it's by the Editors of Prevention, uh, and it has... 1,200 new doctor-tested tips and techniques anyone can use to heal hundreds of everyday health problems by Sid Kirschheimer. So I figured, well, what the heck, that'd be a good thing to have in a prepper stash in case you can't get to a doctor. So, but that was my big adventure for the day, picking up that book. And, uh, yeah, I literally did nothing today. Well, I shouldn't say that. I did put together my daughter's baby album, which, you know, she's like 38 now. <laughs> Better late than never. So I had one for each of my boys, and I just had her pictures laying willy-nilly in, in the album. So I thought, well... It was sitting around in my kitchen, and I thought, I think it's time to put her album together. So that's what I did. So that was my big accomplishment for the day. Um, like I said, I'll do my 30-minute declutter tomorrow. It'll be day three. And I really need to shred some papers. And But my kitchen still looks good. I didn't clutter it up again, so... And it usually doesn't take long for me to do that. Usually every week I have to declutter something. So, but I'm going to try to do better and not do that anymore. So, because it's too hard to keep the house clean and continuously keep having to keep decluttering it because you can't wipe your kitchen table if it's full of junk. You can't wipe your counters if they're full of junk. And so, uh, I really am going to try to do better. So, you guys hold me accountable. And, uh, we'll see. Nope, not we'll see. We will do this, right? Okay, um, well, that's all I have for you today. Um, since I didn't do anything, I don't have much to share with you. Um... And tomorrow is another day. All right, my friends, I'm going to go do more nothing and uh, enjoy my staycation day. All right. 
I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.